Hello amigos, welcome to part 2 of the Mysore trip. Before we start, let's have a quick recap of part 1. And now, let me take you to Mysore Sand Sculpture Museum. It was inaugurated in 2014 with 150 sand sculptures on display on a one acre land at the base of Chamundi Hills. Each of the sculpture was created based on themes such as Mysore cultural heritage, wildlife and religion. These arts were created by sand artist MN Gori. She is an Indian sand artist from Mysore. She is the only female sand sculpture artist in India. To get more such informative videos in future, please subscribe to Freaking Food Crush and press the bell icon for instant notification. Now let me take you to St. Philomena's Cathedral. It is a Catholic church. The full name is the Cathedral of St. Joseph and St. Philomena. It is also known as St. Joseph's Cathedral. It was constructed in 1936 using a neo-Gothic style and its architecture was inspired by the Cologne Cathedral in Germany. This is one of the tallest churches in Asia. After visiting the cathedral, we went for some snacks. And after that, we went to witness the most attractive light show of Mysore Palace. At present, the Mysore Palace is illuminated for public from 7 pm to 7.45 pm on Sundays and public holidays. However, people or groups interested to view the illuminated palace on days other than Sundays or any public holiday for 30 minutes, they have to pay Rs 50,000 to the board in advance and get the palace illuminated exclusively for themselves at a time convenient for them.
I have given all details in the description box so you can check once. So that's it from the Mysore vlog. I will come with a new video soon. Till that, be with us and keep supporting freaking food crush. Adios amigos.